Nora was tiny, but Bridget, the belligerent six-foot-tall woman, glorying down at her didn't intimidate her. Bridget couldn't even say why she had stopped at the crisis pregnancy center. She'd already made up her mind to get rid of this kid. So Nora gently asked questions, and Bridget rudely deflected them with profanity-laced tyrants. Soon, Bridget got up to leave, defiantly declaring her intent to end her pregnancy. Slipping her small frame between Bridget and the door, Nora asked, Before you go, may I give you a hug and may I pray for you? No one had ever hugged her before, not with healthy intentions anyway. Suddenly, unexpectedly, the tears came. Nora beautifully reflects the heart of our God, who loved his people Israel with an everlasting love. Jeremiah 31 verse 3 the people had stumbled into the hard consequences of their persistent violation of his guidelines. Yet God told them, I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. I will build you up again. Verses 3 to 4. Bridget's history is complex. Many of us can relate. Until she ran into real love that day, her belief had been that God and his followers would only condemn her. Nora showed her something different. The God who won't ignore our sin because he loves beyond imagination. He welcomes us with open arms. We don't have to keep running. What's your perception of God? How does it line up with the God you read about in today's scripture reading? Father, I so often take your incredible love for granted. Forgive me and help me to reflect that love to someone today.